my name is Jeanette Clara and I'm so happy to be in Syracuse for the second time. You guys always show me mad love and I'm so excited to be here for my show tonight. Been waiting so long Baby come and feed my soul Don't do me no wrong Oh, so much. Um, yeah, well, I had like my father pass when I was really young. Um, I had my sister pass from an illness called Franconi anemia. So we were in and out of the hospital with her for like three years. It's very similar to leukemia. So my family kind of went through a rough patch. And even after that, my little brother got diagnosed with the same illness. So like I've had a little bit of a roller coaster of life, but I'm really happy that like music has always been there to kind of be there for me and get me through all of those things. If you met a, a young female and she wanted to be a singer, what would your advice be to her? First, I would tell her to stay in school because that's what I did and it was great for me. Second, I would tell her to work hard, um, practice, um, not to get discouraged because it's really easy in, in singing and entertainment especially to get discouraged because a lot of doors get slammed in your face before you get one yes. Um, and to really, like I was saying before, practice self-love and know yourself and the music you want to make and, and to, to have a message, a message to spread because I think there's a lot of music out there too that's promoting so much negativity and I feel like I don't want to be a part of that. I want to be a part of something bigger and something more positive. Stadium music. World <laughs> music, man. <laughs> um, that means just to be happy, really, to me. Um, be happy to do what I love. Um, yeah, I just feel like when you, when, when, you're, when the circumstances around you are, are, are bad, it tends to affect you as a human being and your happiness and the things that you do. So I think a good life is just to be happy, to be complacent with yourself, um, to spread love and positivity. <laughs> What would you tell youth that are struggling to um, stay focused and, you know, um, be successful in life? Because um, I know, like, firsthand that, that it's hard, I would honestly just say it's like to promote self-love because I think that a lot of, um, like, positivity and pushing forward comes from, like, loving yourself and really knowing yourself. So I think that... I, like the one thing that I promote and I try to promote with my music as well is just like self-love and self-worth. I think it's awesome and I think that um, it's actually getting a lot more popular, especially like within my, my young friends and stuff. I see a lot of people starting their own businesses and I think it's awesome to be able to be your own boss and to start something and have something for yourself and grow it. There's like, there's an attachment there and, and a level of like, personal yeah personal attachment so I think entrepreneurship is, is really dope I do write my music I work on my artwork I print the CDs I make the videos so I mean I think that anything that you have control over and that you put your everything into makes you an entrepreneur so I know originally early in your career you had um, a record deal with Motown Universal Motown yep. and um, that didn't turn out the way you wanted it to turn out what what kept you going and what made you stay focused um really my love of music and honestly the things that I've had to come like overcome in life have been there have been such bigger road bumps for me than that one little little thing so I wasn't gonna let something like that stop me from from reaching my goals and, and reaching my dreams I love music and I don't plan to stop anytime soon even if I'm like 80 selling mixtapes out of the back of my trunk I will do that <laughs> but yeah I think it's important to pursue what you love and to and to find that 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 happiness 
education to you? I think education is super important. Um, as I was saying before, when my sister was sick, I had gone through a period in time in school where my grades were slipping and I'm thankful that I had a group of friends around me um, in my choir and stuff that pulled me in the right direction, kept me focused in school and like they helped me study and we would go to choir and sing and I'm just thankful for those for those uh, friends that helped me do that because I stayed focused and I got my education and I think that everybody needs that. Just to be a successful human being, you need those skill sets. So if you don't think it's important, please know that it is. School is 100% important. You absolutely need your education. What made you want to support The Good Life? What did you see about The Good Life that made you want to support? Well, honestly, I just heard an amazing story right now that totally just inspired me, which is this young man's story right here. Um, I think it's so dope to come from from struggle and from nothing and really make something of yourself and become a positive role model. I try to do that with my music, so to see the youth and, and you know people moving towards something positive really inspires me. So I'm just happy to be here, like supporting you guys, and you guys show me so much love. So it's an honor to really be a part of this. For me. <laughs> What's up, it's Jeanette Claudette, and shout out to the Good Life Youth Foundation for doing positive, amazing things and inspiring the youth of Syracuse to push forward, follow their dreams, and continue a positive, healthy lifestyle. Can't keep running with no one to run to. Can't keep pulling yourself alive in your head. Can't find someone cause you left somebody that you shouldn't have.